Hi, it's been a long day and it's time to remove my makeup and to get ready for bed. Uh, I haven't done a video like this for so long, so I think it's a uh, right time now to update you with my current uh, nighttime routine. Yes, uh, let's start. I'm just gonna put my hair up first. I usually start with brushing my teeth. I will show you my paste though, because my toothpaste though, because it's not a normal toothpaste. It looks like this. It's from Thailand. I got it because my friend recommended me this toothpaste. Uh, it's like a revolution in the mouth. It's full of uh, herbs. It's natural. It doesn't have any fluoride. Uh, and it's very cheap. You can order it on eBay or on Amazon. I will post the links down below where did I buy it. I put some water on my toothbrush. Scratch a little bit of this thing onto this little spoon and place it on my tooth. Again. Next thing, I'm going to remove my makeup with uh, Garnier Skincare Micellar Water. Very gently touching my eyelids. I try not to stretch my skin, but it's not always possible. <laughs> I'm removing my makeup, so I just touch it, wait a few seconds to dissolve, and move it. Many of you is asking me at what stage am I doing the face massage. So this is now the stage right after removing the makeup. So I just do a couple of pumps on my hand. Then I'm just put it on my face. And while I do a face massage, the oil oils also mix with all the remainings of the makeup and the remainings of my dirt from my face. And then when I remove it all, it's all clear. Now, when I'm done with the face massage, I'm just gonna clean my face with just a basic clean and clear exfoliating face wash. And I'm gonna wash it under the shower because we actually have no cold water in the tub at the moment. So yeah, I'll do it and I come back to you. <laughs> okay, my face is nice and clean. I have to mention that I wash my face twice after using oil. And the reason why I don't leave the oil on is, well, first of all, that one was mixed with reminding of my makeup as well. But uh, generally oils are, oils are too heavy for my skin and they just not make it, you know, cause breakouts and just my skin doesn't, don't like it, <laughs> don't like too heavy oils. So now in my clean skin, I am adding my favorite uh, Halalabo Hyaluronic Acid Lotion from Japan. I highly recommend it. I have recommended it so many times, but it hasn't failed me since I was 21, 22. So we just add like a drop or two on it. We do this and we pat into our face. Making sure we put it in all the problematic areas. We also add it on the neck. And I like to rub it in my hands as well, the remainings. Yeah, I like to pat it in. This is really good also for the face puffiness, this motion. During the day, especially in the morning, I just put the Halalabo lotion. This one is with retinol, I think, and Q10. Again, just to pad it everywhere where it's needed the most. That's it in the bathroom, but I have a few more things I add on when I'm in the room. So, let's go. Hello. That's my little bedtime corner. And bedtime monster. I'm gonna leave him on the side for now. Here, yeah. Here are my final steps that I do before I go to sleep. Mm, let's start with this oil. This is a vitamin E oil. Very thick, very moisturizing. I put it on my mouth. You can have it on the pad like this. I leave it on my lips as well as I put it on my fingers and pat it under my eyes. It's a very, very moisturizing deeply uh, penetrating skin oil. Another oil I really like, that this one I'm not gonna put on. Uh, this is a castor oil. It's fantastic for eyelashes and eyebrows to grow thick, shiny, long. Um, I'm not gonna put it on because I, I've got something to do. If I put it on, I don't see very well because it actually sometimes, I don't know, like, you know, my lashes just get clamped together. But if you do put it over night time, I mean, just before you go to sleep, then you don't really know because you're sleeping. 
Uh, this is uh, the second cream, well, the first cream I have, the second thing I'm putting under my eyes. This is Prestige Snail Repairing Cream. It's from Korean brand as well. There you go, you can read all about it because I don't speak Korean. Basically, it contains snail extract which helps your skin structure repair and renew. I like experimenting with new creams. This one is not specially designed for under eye area, it's just for face. Uh, but I don't really need this for all over my face, so I'm just using a little bit of my little finger and put it under the eyes, which uh, saves the cream, <laughs> definitely. Uh, I put it under eyes, I put it here where the nose labial folds and nose labial, uh, you know, smile wrinkles like to show, and also here. And very final thing, secret bag of white blocks I have. This is Shea Butter and this is actually Mango Butter. I just rub it in my hands and it's fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Irreplaceable when it comes to moisturizing your hands. And the feet is absolutely fantastic as well. Yes, I think that was my last step before I go to sleep. I've actually watched the previous video I've done for my evening routine. I think that was a couple of years ago and I cannot believe how much cosmetics I was putting on. It's like tons tons and now I'm just minimizing it all. One second I'll forget about something. Sorry I would forget about the essential thing. If I have a spot, this is what I use. Clear seal for our thing and it fixes it. That's all. Thank you very much for being here with me and being still here. Uh, see you later. Bye bye. Have a good night.